One other thing before we get started is um, I wanted to just review factorials. Do you remember what 6 factorial means? Right, 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And do you remember the definition of 0 factorial? That's defined as 1, and that's kind of a special rule you have to remember. So I just wanted to review those before we get started. Okay, so to use the C button in a calculator, first of all, this means n factorial over n minus r factorial r factorial. NCR is also denote, denoted by using N over R in this notation, and it still means the same thing. N factorial over N minus R factorial N factorial. Okay, so if I had 8C2, what would it mean? It would mean 8 factorial over 8 minus 2 factorial, 2 factorial. And remember how we would do that? 8 times 7 times 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 over 8 minus 2 is 6. So 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 times 2 times 1. Remember the shortcut, we'd write the first one, and once we knew where the repeat was, we wouldn't write that section to save time. So 8 times 7 is 56 divided by 2, right? So we know how to do that, right? 28. Let's use the calculator to do it. Okay, you ready? Get your calculator out. First thing you're going to do for 8C2 is press the 8. So press the 8, then press the math button, and then what you're going to do is once you get the math button, go all the way over to PRB. What do you think that stands for? Probability. Okay, and once you get over to probability, you're going to go down to number 3, and you'll see that it is NCR. So, Press the 8, press the math, press probability, press NCR. What do you think I'm going to press next? A 2. So go, go do that and then hit enter and see what you get. 28. Hey, pretty cool to get the calculator to do that, right? Let's try another one. How about 7C3? Okay, press the 7. Math, probability, go down to the NCR. Press a 3, hit enter, you know the answer. Hopefully you came up with 35. Okay, i got to clear my board here. Okay, so a quick review. If I want the first term of this, the first term, all right, we have to set up the expression, which has to have the C button and then the two parts of the binomial in parentheses, A in the first one. 2b in the second one. If that's a minus 2b, I put a minus in here. Okay, the first term, so the number of term is always one less, so that means this is a zero. These two things always have to add up to eight, so this is an eight, right? And so what do I put here? hc zero, okay? And then when you figure that out in your calculator, you get a one, you get a to the eighth, and 2b to the 0 is 1, so times 1 is that answer. All right, let's do another one. Suppose I want the second term. All right, let's set it up first with the two parentheses, right? If I want the second term, this is always 1 less, so I want a 1 there. What do I put here? Remember, they both have to add up to 8, so this is a 7. I put an a in here, a 2b in here, and then I put 8 C1. And then you figure that out, right? And when you figure it out for the second term, right, do you know what you get? All right, so here we go. We're going to use the C button on our calculator and what we know about the binomial theorem to do some of the 
terms of this expansion. And again, I could do the whole expansion if I wanted. All right, the coefficients. All right, how many terms does this expansion have? Do you remember the rule for that? It's always one more, so this would have nine terms. All right, just so that we know. And remember, when you're setting up for a specific term, you set up the two parentheses first. This exponent, whatever term you want, is always one less. So if I wanted the sixth term, okay, right, this is going to be a five. What's this going to be? A three. How do you know that? These two numbers have to add up to eight. And then I do my coefficient, which I'm going to use the C key now, and and um, I'm going to put an 8 here and a 5 here. You follow me on that? Okay. And I get the 5 from there. All right. Well, one less, the term one less. So I can just remember that rule. And then here I have a to the third and 2b to the fifth. Now, that's a plus 2b to the fifth. It's important to put the sign there because sometimes if that was a minus, my whole answer would be a minus. So now I use my calculator to do 8C5, and do that, it takes a second, and you get a 56, right? And then I have A to the third, and then I have 2 to the fifth, which is 32B to the fifth. So now I do have to do the 56 times the 32, 